leveling up bad guys is fun, but it is immensely more satisfying when you get points for doing it. I'm Matt with Nightrun Studio, and in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to add a UI that keeps track of your score. Let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do here is just get our user interface set up. We're already keeping track of our lives. Now we just need to add a score to it. If you double click on your canvas, it will zoom you out. You can see where our lives are currently being kept track of. We're actually gonna use that TextMesh Pro as our base for our score. So I'm just gonna head on over to Lives. I'm gonna hit Command D to duplicate it and slide it across to the other side. We can then head over into our inspect. I'm just gonna rename the title first of all to score and then change the text itself so that it says score colon. So you'll notice that that didn't quite fit and so we're gonna to need to enlarge our box. But remember, there is eventually going to actually be a score here. So we need to enlarge it even more. One way to be sure that this works is to actually add in a sample score here. So I'll say 9,999. You can decide how big you want your scores to be able to get. And just make sure that your box can actually fit that. And then you should be good to go. All right, now we need to actually keep track of our score and then have our score go up when we destroy enemies. To begin with, I'm going to right click over here in my hierarchy. And I'm just gonna create an empty game object. I'm gonna call this one point manager as it's gonna manage our points. And we're gonna make a script to go on that. I'm gonna head on down to my assets folder here into scripts. I'm just gonna create a new C Sharp script called point manager. We'll wanna make sure to put this script on our point manager object. I'm gonna do that by clicking add component. So there are two things that we want to do from inside our point manager. The first is to keep track of our score. And secondly, we want to update our user interface so that it always displays the correct score. So let's get started by hitting underneath our class here. And we're going to create a public integer called score. Next, what we're going to do is head down. We're actually going to take out our update function altogether as we won't be needing it. And we're going to create a new function. This one is going to be public as it's going to be accessed by our projectile script when it destroys enemies. And we're gonna make this one a public void called update score. Then inside of brackets, it's going to take in an integer, which will be, we'll call points. Now for the moment, we're not actually calling this. It's not like update where it's gonna run constantly or start which runs at the beginning. This one will only actually run when it's told to run. And that'll happen in our projectile script. However, when it is told to run, what we always wanna do is we're gonna update so that our score gets added to it, however many points are passed in from the other script. So now that we're keeping track of our score, we also want to take some time here to link this up to our TextMesh Pro so that in Unity, our UI displays the score. To do this, we're going to need to add using TM Pro so that we have access to all of Unity's libraries dealing with TextMesh Pro. And we're going to need to make a reference to which text we want to show the score, as we've got more than one text in our game. So we'll make this one a publish, public tmp underscore text, and we'll call this one score text. Now we can come down here and after we update our score, we want to change the value of our score text dot text because it's the text mesh pro and specifically the text that's in that. We're gonna want to set to be equal to, and I'm gonna have mine say the word score. And then we're also gonna have the actual score display. And this score is our variable that's set here. It's the one that's being kept track of in the game. Well, this is just the word. You could write anything you want in that space. Now, anytime we score points, it will update the score and also update our UI. Back in Unity, we're just gonna quickly make sure that our point manager is set up. So you'll notice that there's now a line for our text mesh pro text. And we just wanna let it know that it's the score text that's gonna change each time. So now our script knows how to talk to our score. The only thing remaining at this point is to actually make us get points on destroying enemies. Now in our earlier tutorial, we set this up inside of our projectile. And so if you look here down in this on trigger enter, anytime the projectile hits an enemy, it creates an explosion, it destroys the enemy, and then it destroys itself. And so what we're gonna wanna do here is have it so that before it destroys itself, it tells our point manager to get some more points. Now to do this, this script needs to know how to talk to our point manager. We're going to create a private variable called point manager. Now this name point manager is the name of the script we just wrote, so it knows it's looking for a script called point manager. 
and we'll call it point manager with a lowercase p, though again, we could name the variable anything we want. The reason this one is private is because we won't need to see it in Unity, and it's not going to be talked to by any other scripts, it's doing the talking itself. Now normally we would make this public, it would create a box in Unity that we can drag the point manager into, but because our projectiles are prefabs, they aren't in the game yet, so we can't drag anything into them. So they're going to have to find the point manager for themselves. We'll do this down here in our start function. So we're going to tell the script as soon as it, the projectile comes to life, it's going to know that it needs to find out who the point manager is. And that point manager is going to be equal to, we'll type in gameobject.find, and then we'll type in the name of our point manager game object. Now in Unity, you'll notice that mine has no space and both the P and the M are capitalized. And so I want to make sure to spell this the same way. So right now it will find the game object, but we want it to actually look on that game object and find the script itself. So we'll put dot get component. So at this point now, it's going to go into the point manager and it's going to look for a component called point manager. And you'll, again, my point manager script was also spelled without any spaces. So we'll do get component. And the one it's looking for is point manager. We put two brackets so that it can finish the function and close it off with a semicolon. Now, as soon as the projectile comes to life, it will automatically know where the point manager script is and be able to talk to it. So now we just need to do that talking. We'll come down here and after the enemy is destroyed, but before the projectile destroys itself, we're going to type in point managers because that's who it's talking to dot. And now what we want to do is we want to access that function that we wrote inside of our point manager. So if you go in here, we are now going to call the update score function and then we're going to tell it how many points to score. So we're going to go point manager dot up update score. And then in brackets, we'll just say how many points we want to get. We could do 50. And now each time we hit an enemy, it'll destroy the enemy, it'll update our score, and then it will destroy the projectile. At the moment, things will be mostly working. Whenever I hit an enemy, my score will go up by 50. But you may have noticed at the very beginning that my score still said I had 9,999, and we don't want that. We want to make sure that our game is updating our score at the very beginning. Now, there are two ways to do this. One is kind of the lazy way, which would be to simply go into our score and make it so that it just says what we want it to say at the beginning. There's no reason that wouldn't work, but it's not necessarily best practice. The other thing we can do is go into our point manager. And right now our score only updates after we score a point, but we could also make it update at the very start of the game. So we could take this line right here and just do an exact copy of it into the start so that at the start it will update our score. And then again, every time we score a point. All right, and now you'll see our score is working just as intended. All right, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, I encourage you to like or subscribe to the channel. Till next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.